What's the favorite career path of those who want to make a lot of money? Yes, you guessed it right. We are talking about finance today. So this is the second video in my series of specialized master's programs. And today I want to talk about master's in financial engineering and related courses. So on the other side of this intro, I am going to talk about who is this program right for, how to build a good profile for it and what are some of the good schools you can consider if you want to study MS in finance, financial engineering, computational finance, those kind of courses in the US. Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Nishtha from Scholar Strategy and 24 North Star. Today we are talking about MS in Finance related courses. So anything like MS in Financial Engineering, MS in Computational Finance, MS in Financial Mathematics, etc, etc will fall into this category, but non MBA program. So I'm not talking about the MBA in Finance courses. Okay, we are doing a series of specialized courses. If you want to check out our previous videos like MS in Data Science, Business Analytics, Electrical Engineering, etc then do please take a look at the channel and go through those videos but without further ado what i want to talk today about is two things first i want to cover the difference between these ms in finance courses versus mba in finance and which is the right course for you and secondly i want to cover a list of 22 programs which i think offer a very good ms in finance related course that you can consider okay so let's get started with the first part which is what is the primary difference between mba in finance versus ms in finance or financial engineering kind of courses so there are five key differences i want to cover first is basis on focus and curriculum so mba in finance focuses on broader business management leadership and strategic finance aspects Whereas a MFE course will focus on quantitative finance, programming and mathematical models for solving complex financial problems. Second difference is in the skill set. So MBA in finance is suited for people who want to manage financial strategies, teams, departments, etc. Whereas MFE is ideal for those who enjoy working with data, algorithms and financial engineering tools. So ask yourself, do you want to work in bigger teams managing people or do you want to sit in a, a cubicle and nerd it out? And if you like the technical aspects, then MFE is a more suitable course for you. Third aspect is career path. MBA in finance can lead you to roles like investment banking, financial manager, CFO or business consultants. Whereas MFE program is more suited for roles like quantitative analyst, risk manager or financial engineering. Fourth point of difference is in the work experience requirement. MBA in finance will often require several years of work experience, emphasizing on leadership skills. Whereas a MFE program can be pursued with lesser work experience, typically requiring strong technical or mathematical backgrounds. And this is why a lot of engineers apply for this. And last is uh, what is the target audience, right? So MBA in finance is best for professionals who are looking to advance to senior leadership or management roles. Whereas MFE is more suited for individuals passionate about quantitative analysis, data science or financial modeling in short mba in finance is for those aiming for leadership in financial companies and industry while mfe is for those who want to specialize in the technical aspects of finance designing models etc now that we are clear on what mfe curriculum and goal is let us look at 22 universities that offer promising programs in ms in finance related courses by the way these uh, first i will cover the top 11 courses according to me and they attract top employers like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan Chase, Citadel, BlackRock, Bain and Company, Bank of America, Two Sigma, Barclays, AQR, Capital etc. So first let's take a look at these top 11 programs and I will start the list with MIT Sloan School of Management which offers a degree called Master of Finance. The focus here is on finance theory, quantitative finance, data science and fintech. Average salary you can expect from this program is $150,000 and more and tuition fee is $87,000 per year which will come to around 1 crore plus for the 18 month program. So yes, these are going to be expensive. Second program is UC Berkeley 
which offers a master's of financial engineering course here the focus is again quant finance risk management financial data analytics uh, you can expect an average salary of 155k plus and tuition is again similar around $80,000 per year by the way this was ranked number 1 in MFE program ranking uh, according to the financial times and they have also few upcoming webinars so check them out if you're interested and 96 percent students in the class of 2023 reported full-time offers so yes it's a job friendly course as well number three is columbia university which offers a master's of financial engineering course um, the focus is not just quant finance but they also offer courses in programming machine learning and stochastic processes it's one of the very very well regarded course and especially located in new york city it like offers fantastic job opportunities with the average salary of around 153k plus tuition is obviously on the higher side around $88,000 per year. Number four is Princeton University which has a course called Master in Finance. Focus here is on financial theory, econometrics, asset pricing and risk management and tuition fee here would be around $62,000 per year. At number five we have Stanford uh, which offers an MS in financial mathematics. So here the focus is more on financial modeling, risk management, optimization kind of stuff similar salary tuition fee around $67,000 per year by the way do check all these uh, numbers uh, especially the tuition fee because um, uh, there's always like you know we try to pick it from the website the updated numbers but there's always a scope of maybe we have missed out on some additional fee for the international students number six is NYU Stun School of Business and Courant uh, in combination they offer something called MS in Mathematics in Finance and the focus here is on quant finance, derivatives, machine learning as well as algorithmic trading. 140,000 average salary and tuition fee around $67,000 per year but this is located closest to Wall Street so yes very very prestigious job friendly course. I loved my time in NYU and if you know how to leverage the location this is a dream school. Number 7 we have University of Chicago Booth School of Business which offers something called MS in Financial Mathematics. Here you can focus on financial modeling, derivatives, risk management, stats etc now chicago is not my favorite place in terms of the weather but it houses some of the best fintech firms as well as big hedge funds like citadel so if you want to work in the finance industry chicago is one of the best place you can be in after new york um, and a tuition fee it's on an expensive side here around seventy seven thousand dollars per year as well but yes chicago has a lot of pe and hedge funds so very job friendly i would say at number eight we have cmu tepper school of business which offers a very very popular program called ms in computational finance which focuses on computational finance data science and risk management very expensive around $83,000 per year now all admitted students here are automatically considered for a partial tuition MSCF fellowship so I just wanted to point that out um, and these are given on overall strength of the applicant and the contribution the candidate can make to the community so again I expect they will like to see high ACADs uh, maybe GRE scores etc number nine we have Cornell University which offers masters of financial engineering um, similar focus like risk management optimization data science etc uh, tuition fee is on expensive side being a Ivy League around $85,000 per year an average salary somewhat lower than others like $125,000 then we have UCLA which offers also a master's of financial engineering course similar kind of profile then we have Baruch College uh, Zicklin School of Business this is in New York City and while this is not ranked as high this is one of my favorite financial engineering courses because of its strong placements and it is very well regarded in the finance industry so we in India have not heard its name as much but it is very well regarded in US especially in New York around in the finance circle it focuses on financial modeling derivatives risk management quant finance um, and the best part is tuition fee is on the lower end of end of the spectrum something around fifty thousand dollars per year and here also graduates have landed full-time jobs with of course the top prestigious firms that we talked about like Goldman Sachs Citadel etc but other than that also um, some local companies like AXQ Capital, Jefferies, Millennium, Point72, QuantBot, 
seven eight capital square point capital etc so there are so many of those finance smaller firms in new york city that will hire from this school by the way don't think it's easy to get into it like we have always had a tough time our clients have gone on to get admission to columbia uc berkeley etc but we have had very very less admits to baruch college so it's highly competitive now those were my top 11 priority programs but apart from these you can also consider at number 12 i will mention georgia institute of technology uh, which offers a course in ms in quant and computational finance this has strong connections with major financial firms especially in the southeast us right so location in atlanta is a significant advantage as it's a growing financial hub with firms like SunTrust, Invesco, etc. Average starting salary is also pretty solid, like one hundred and ten to one hundred and forty thousand dollars. For international student, the tuition fee is approximately, like you know, somewhere between thirty five thousand dollars per year. This makes the program relatively more affordable compared to many top tier financial engineering programs. Uh, and lastly, they have solid placement records, so graduates have typically secured roles in in all those big companies like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, J P Morgan, etc., etc. So yes, very very good program. Other than the top ones, if you don't have a very competitive profile, maybe you can consider this. Other than this, I would look at N Y U Tandon School of Engineering, huge location advantage in New York City. Then North Carolina. Carolina State University has something called Masters in Financial Mathematics for more geekier um, candidates. Then we have University of Washington Seattle, uh, which offers MS in Computational Finance and Risk Management. Rutgers is also a good option, I feel, which offers a Master of Quantitative Finance. It's in New Jersey, and it's pretty drivable distance from New York City. Then I have my own alma mater, University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, which has a Master's of Financial Engineering. Again, I think drivable distance from Chicago, so that can be the advantage here. Then we have Stevens Institute of Technology, which is in New Jersey, but it's just a train ride across from New York City. It offers an MS in Financial Engineering, so huge location advantage. Same is the case with Fordham University in New York. Then I also want to talk about University of Minnesota. which offers a masters of financial mathematics now although it's a very cold location it taps into the midwest hub and offers very good average starting salary around 90000 to 120000 dollars depending on the location and role plus tuition is also on the relatively lower side with 50000 dollars per year apart from this boston university taps into the location of boston which i always like they have something called ms in mathematical finance and financial technology course and lastly uc san diego which offers a masters of quantitative finance if you are more keen on the west coast of us so those were my top 22 programs for finance related masters courses so i hope you will benefit from this information and i feel us is a great place for finance related courses if you combine this with a cfa kind of degree i think it opens up a lot of good high paying job prospects which are also stem friendly in us so how did you like this video let us know in the in the comment section below which other program should i consider in a future video let us know any other comments are welcome hope all of you are doing great all the best with your fall 2025 applications take care good luck and i will see you guys next week with a fresh new video until then take care bye bye